On a normal day, you see the Ghanaian farmer in different farms communicating with farmers, finding out about the varieties of crops or livestock they are into. This week on the Ghanaian farmer, we are all the way in the Crops Research Institute in Fumeswa in Kumasi in the Ashanti region. We find ourselves in one of their departments, which is the, the tissue culturing session, where they get to produce clean planting material for tuber and root farmers. So here we have such uh, tubers such as the yam, the cassava, the pineapple, the sweet potato, and also we have the cassava and also the plantain. But our focus today is going to be on sweet potato. How do you come by the vines that you actually grow in your farm? It goes through a lot of stages. And the very, very, very second or baby stage it goes through has to do the tissue culturing stage. And that is what we are here to find out more, to educate our farmers, to more, know more about what they are all about when it comes to agriculture. So today, I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, Dr. Victor Amankwa, who is the head of this department, will be taking us through, enlightening us about tissue culturing in agriculture, the stages, the principles, the sample collection, and every other thing that there is to know about tissue culturing when it comes to agriculture. My name is Anyan. I'm getting interactive on our social media pages on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, The Ghanaian Farmer. Let's hear from you. Wherever you are watching us, let's hear from you. I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, I would engage Dr. Victor Amankwa in a very lengthy conversation. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. So thanks for staying. If you just tune in, I'm not in the farm today. I'm in a different space altogether. It's new, but we are going to learn a lot. And Dr. Mankwa is here to do us the honors. Dr. Mankwa, thank you very much for welcoming us to your space. To begin with, when we say tissue culture, what exactly are we driving at? Yeah. When we talk about tissue culture, mm -hmm. then what we want to say is growing like cells and uh, parts of an organism in an uh, artificial medium for them to grow. Okay. Now, plant tissue culture in agriculture, what does that mean? So when we talk about plant tissue culture in agriculture, right. then what it means is getting a plant part, bringing it to the lab, cleaning it, and making them grow in glass. Okay. Then after doing everything, sending them back to the field for the farmer to get the planting material okay. to grow. Right. Are there examples of plant tissue culture? So Such as? we have what we call the each plant part that is growth at the node. Mm -hmm. So what we normally use mm -hmm. is taking the node. Okay. We have what we also call the shoot tip. And in the shoot tip, we have what we call the meristem. So we use all these things to grow the plants, to clean them. Okay. So in the space we find ourselves, I see thousands of glass bottles covered and stay, you know, with, you know, some rubbers around it and some tissue in it. How many varieties or different types of plant tissue are you culturing here? Yeah, so the tissue culture laboratory mm -hmm. at Crops Research mainly works on root and tuber crops okay. like mm -hmm. sweet potato, yam, mm -hmm. banana, mm -hmm. cassava, okay. and banana. Yam, cassava, potato, and plantain. And plantain. Yes. So before we see the food we are enjoying, our fufu and all that, it starts from here. Is that correct? Yeah, that is if the planting materials are being affected. Mm with diseases, mm -hmm. we bring them here mm -hmm. so that we remove the diseases, mm. then we give them to the farmers for them to 
grow them. Okay. Now, let's understand. Aside the glass bottles, what other materials or what other things are put together to have what I'm saying here? That is if I'm allowed to touch it. Yeah. How do you come by the tissues that you culture or put them into this bottle? Yeah, so uh, the plant undergoes a lot of stages okay. for them into, to come into the bottle. Okay. Yeah. So first, you want the plants to grow, so you have to give them food to eat. Right. So the food to eat, we prepare it for them. We call it media. Media. Yeah. Okay. So when you are prepared your media to, mm -hmm. you have to get your plant samples. So what it means is you have to establish them in the greenhouse mm -hmm. for them to grow for some time. Okay. And you have to make sure the plants are apparently healthy. Right. Yeah. So you go to the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. You get the plant parts we talked about. Mm -hmm. So when I bring the plant part to the lab, mm -hmm. you know, when plants are growing in their natural environment, the natural environment, it has pathogens, okay. like fungus, mm -hmm. like uh, bacteria, mm. and we have insect vectors mm -hmm. that transmit viruses. So the plant materials are affected by all these things. Okay. But when we bring to the lab, we do what we call the surface sterilization of the plant part. Then it kills all fungus, bacteria. Yeah, so after these have been killed, mm -hmm. then we put the plant part in the media we have prepared. Okay. The plant part we use by putting in the media we prepared at the initial stage is called the explant. Mm. So we put the explant mm -hmm. in the culture medium for it to grow. Then after that, it will go through several stages okay. for you to get your clean planting material. material. Okay. Yeah. Doc, um, under normal circumstance, when you go to the farm, when you, you walk into the nurseries, you see soil being used to actually do the nursery before transplanting. But in this laboratory, what I see is, it looks like water. It looks like water before I see the plant. What is that? Is that water or what is it in the glass bottle? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what looks like water uh -huh. is not water. Okay. Like when you take the soil, mm. the soil is a place for plant growth. Okay. And the soil contains different nutrients. Mm. So, the soil contains nutrients like nitrogen, mm -hmm. phosphorus, mm -hmm. potassium, mm -hmm. manganese. Yeah. So when we, you come to the lab, mm. when we are preparing the media, mm. we use salts, which have all these chemicals. Then we put them in water. Then what makes it become solid is called the agar. Okay. So we put the agar, melt it. Right. We put them, we heat them to kill all pathogens. Right. Then we bring them to the lab, okay. where, which have clean area, so that we be able to culture them mm. and eliminate the pathogens, okay. which are in the natural environment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. But then, <laughs> some of the, the most challenging part mm. is getting rid of viruses. Mm. So in order to get rid of viruses, we do heat treatment. Okay. So after we've gotten our plant, right. we, and we have put them in the media, mm. we put them into our, what we call the heat treatment machine, uh, the thermotherapy changer, uh, chamber. Mm. The temperature here, it's like 24 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. But the thermotherapy chamber, mm -hmm. the temperature is about 36 degrees Celsius. So it's like when you have COVID mm -hmm. and uh, you want to cure yourself of COVID, then you drink hot water. Mm -hmm. So it's a similar thing. Mm -hmm. So we put our materials in the thermotherapy chamber, which has high temperature, mm -hmm. in such a way that 
our plantlet or the plant mm. in layman's term will not die, but the virus will die. Mm. We know that the virus is inside the plant. Okay. Uh, like they are together. But mm. when we're able to put them in heat, the, the virus is able to die. Mm. Then we bring them back to our medium. Then we allow them to grow. Okay. Then we send them to the greenhouse to harden them. Mm -hmm. So after hardening them, we allow them to grow. Then we cut uh, plant sections, mm. like what we call the vine. Mm -hmm. Then the farmer comes in to get it, to plant in his field. Okay. Now, of all that you have said, uh, then one would want to find out um, what are the different stages in tissue culturing? Okay. So, yeah. So, talking about the different stages of tissue culture or producing a clean planting, planting material. materials, you first have to get your variety you are working on, say, from the breeder or from the farmer. Okay. So normally they come in different varieties. Mm. So say we are working on sweet potato. We have different varieties like Apomodin. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, Boshe. Mm. We have none. Mm. So we go to the breeder. We ask for vines from the breeder. Okay. Then we come to the screen house. Then because what we are doing, we want to produce clean planting materials. Right. We heat our soil so that if there is any pathogen in it, it will kill it. It will kill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then we put the soil in pots. Mm. So after putting the soil in pots, mm -hmm. then we plant our vines there, so that we are able to get our starting material. Mm. So that is what we call establishment at the greenhouse. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So after we have established at the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Then the next step mm. is what we call the sampling and initiation. Oh, okay. So we go to the greenhouse, mm -hmm. we go and get uh, the plant part, mm. like what we call the node, mm. where a root can initiate. Mm. Yeah. And lest I forget, you know, tissue culture is based on the principle of totipotency. Mm. So totipotency is the ability of a cell to become a big plant. Okay. Yeah. So we go for the nodes. You see, like at the nodes, there's a growing point. So we bring them to the lab. Mm -hmm. Then we come and do what we call the surface sterilization. Mm -hmm. Then we do our initiation okay. to get our plants grow. So when we're able to establish them in the media for about four weeks, we will see at the growing point a new growth of plant coming. So we take back we remove them from the old media, we repair new media, then we put that plant part on the new media and allow it to grow. Mm. Then we increase the numbers. Mm. So when we get the required numbers, then we send them to our thermotherapy chamber to clean them from the viruses. Okay. So after getting that, mm. we bring them out of the thermotherapy chamber. You know, the plant is in the thermotherapy chamber for about a month, then we allow it to settle again. Then we take the tip of the plant, that place, uh, viruses are not able to grow there well. And with the help of the heat, the virus load is also reduced. So mm. we come back to culture that tip of the mm. plant, then we allow it to grow. All right. Now, how long are these um plants or tissue going to be in this space that's the glass bottle space before it is moved to the screen house bring back to this place move to the screen house and then finally lands yeah. on the table of the farmer to start planting yeah. so when you are producing uh, clean planting materials yes because there are so many stages involved, exactly it takes over a year hey. for you to get your clean planting material why? Yeah? Because here yeah, you have to establish at the screen house, you have to bring them to the lab, you have to take them back to the screen house, 
you have to test and make sure whether the viruses are there or not. Right. You have to come back to the lab again right. and you have to multiply them. Okay. And when you multiply them to you have to make them hard mm -hmm. for the screen house condition. Because okay. here you have pampered them. Yes. When you go outside, mm -hmm. you have to like gradually take off some of the pampering. pampering. So that they let them face hard. reality. Right. Yeah, face reality. Okay. And when they go to the farmer's hand, they can they withstand the harder condition yes, there. Please. All right. So <laughs> Oh my goodness, today is a lot of terminology. I told Dr. Mankwa, please, if you don't know you finish me with English today, I will not agree. My name is Enyonami. You are still watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime Television. And standing next to me is Dr. Victor Amankwa. He is the head uh, person, he's the person in charge of the tissue uh, culture session. And basically what they are doing here is producing clean planting materials for farmers to be able to grow. So he mentioned banana, plantain, cassava, yam, sweet potato, and many. So this interview is to enlighten you. Being it a farmer, a would-be farmer, an Greek investor, a student out there, these are some of the things you need to know. It's an eye-opening for me as a host and you who is watching. In case you don't know what various stages from the breeding stage to the culturing stage to the screen house before finally getting to the farmer to plant that vine. You see that yam, you see that cassava you are enjoying. All of those things, before you see them, it goes through this space. And that is what Dr. Victor Amankwa is breaking down for us. We'll be moving from here to go to the screen house. So he, you know, enlightening us about what happens there as well for here it is all about pampering them it is all about a lot of light a lot of air conditioning a lot of uh keeping keen eye on them how they are responding to their new trends and all that they have to pamper them he says in the screen house they get them to harden up a bit and when you get to the farmer like dr kama sense place who does a lot of sweet potato you become more stronger. My name once again is Anya. I'm getting interactive. If you have any complication, <laughs> you have any confusion in your head, relax, calm down. You send your questions. I'll get Dr. Vito's number and share with you so you can call him for more clarifications. I'm going for a quick breather. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Thanks for staying. You're still watching the Ghanaian from Enjoy Prime Television. And today or this week, our focus is on tissue culture. And it's all about producing clean planting materials for farmers, from plantain to cassava to sweet potato and many others. We were a while ago in the lab. Now Dr. Has, Dr. Amankwa has brought us to the screen house. And so he's going to tell us what happens right here. Doc, thanks for joining us once again. So right from the laboratory where the cleaning has been done, what do you do here? So, yeah, you know, when we're in the lab, mm -hmm. we told you we give the plants all the nutrients, we pamper them. Yes. Yeah, so they are very breakable. Right. So when we bring them to the screen house, we are hardening them so that we can give the planting materials to the farmers. Okay. So we gradually expose the plants to the natural sunlight. Okay. Yeah. So after exposing them to the natural sunlight and other environmental conditions, mm -hmm. we allow them to grow mm. for about eight to ten weeks. Okay. And they are ready. So when farmers come in, mm -hmm. if you talk about plantain, mm. we have suckers mm. we can give them. Okay. Talking about the sweet potato clean planting materials, mm -hmm. we cut 30 centimeter vine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what kind of soil do you use in this space? Yeah. So in this space, we have now introduced the plants to the natural environment. Okay. So we use black soil. Okay. Yeah. Do you give them but, any fertilizer? Yeah. Occasionally, because we can keep, we keep the plants here mm. for about eight to 10 weeks mm -hmm. when they are ready to cut. Mm then we allow them to regrow. So we are, when we are allowing them to regrow, mm -hmm. then we give them fertilizer so that they can regenerate. 
and we do that for about four generations. Oh, okay. Then we bring in new fresh materials from the lab Again, for the cycle to, to, to continue. continue so that mm. farmers can get access to clean planting materials of always always okay i see you have some irrigation tubes as well it means you give them water right yes so, how often do you open the water for the yeah, plants so like uh, like every other day mm. in the morning mm -hmm. we make sure we water them so mm. that the soil does not get dry you know okay. the greenhouse can be very right dry. okay but if you're exposing them to the natural weather why don't you let the direct sun heat it why is it in a greenhouse space why yeah so it's in the greenhouse because it's also part of the winning process mm. in the first place we don't want direct sunlight mm. to hit the plants mm. But the net you also see here is an insect-proof net. Okay. So insects cannot enter the greenhouse. Right. The insects transmit diseases, mm. so they are our number one enemies, mm. and we don't allow them mm -hmm. to enter here, mm. so that they don't give our plants diseases. Okay. And therefore, we're able to produce our healthy planting materials mm. we need mm. for farmers. Okay. All right, so in this space, is there any other extra care you give to the plant? Or you just bring them from the lab straight, plant it, and then you leave it till the eight weeks, and then it's moved out to the field? Yeah. So is there any special care also given at this place? Yeah, yeah. You know, from time to time, we mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. if by accident, mm -hmm. like the leaves are very old and all that, mm -hmm. we, we prune them. Okay. so that they can look very fresh and uh, when given to farmers mm -hmm. they'll grow very well okay yeah. so i see next to me a seed trail what plant is that because i can see my sweet potato all over all over and some uh, so what plant is this yeah so the seed tray uh -huh. is part of the winning process okay when we are bringing the plants from the outside environment they were getting very rich nutrients mm -hmm. but before we can grow them into the top soil or the black soil mm. we give them compost in seed trays okay. for them to grow and harden right. for about two weeks okay. before we transfer them into what we call chamber which have the sterilized top soil uh -huh. yeah so this okay. is a case of plantain so plantain mm which has been hardened for about two weeks. Hmm. Then we transfer them to chamber for them to grow, like to become bigger suckers, okay. ready for farmer's use. Or if the farmer mm -hmm. can also take this and plant in mm. his farm, but the farmer has to give it all the necessary care and attention mm. it needs okay. for them to survive. Okay, so if a farmer cannot care for it at this stage, then at what level do you give it? Is it, is it at what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we give them suckers. Okay. That is what you okay. see there, planted in the chambers. Mm. Yeah. All right, okay, so viewers, you're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyunam. Send us your questions wherever it is you're watching us from, being it um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. Wherever it is you are, let's hear from you, Doc. Is there any challenges associated with work, the work you do as in producing, planting, clean planting materials for farmers? I mean, this thing about tissue culturing, is there any challenge associated with it? Yeah, actually? so the tissue culture work, it's uh, capital intensive in that, like uh -huh. when you are starting the tissue culture, right. you need a lot of equipment. Okay. You need constant source of electricity mm. yeah and uh, you have to buy so many uh, tools okay. to facilitate the job okay. so you need some mm. funding mm. for this work to proceed Smoothly. and you know some of the mm. chemicals mm. we use mm -hmm. we are not able to get them in Ghana right here in Ghana you have, you to, have to get them, them yeah from outside okay. so Sometimes getting them mm. become a challenge. Okay. And uh, even when you bring them out, mm -hmm. like the taxes and the uh, <laughs> things you Our have neck to break in. Eh? Yeah, sometimes okay. it makes it very difficult. All yeah, right. So, so uh, yeah. Doc, if, if a farmer is going to venture into um, sweet potato, plantain, banana, 
cassava and yam since you are the brain behind the whole thing before the farmer gets it what are these varieties you'll be recommending to all our farmers who are watching us now perhaps they don't know they buy the wrong varieties here and there which ones are you recommending yeah so talking about varieties mm -hmm. it depends on what the farmer wants to use it for okay yeah so depending on what the farmer no, needs for farming i want to go into sweet potato now i've just been educated or introduced to tissue culture and screen housing which is i mean producing clean planting material so henceforth what do you advise that if you want to go into planting for me what variety should you look out for i mean circus going to look for a circus to plant what variety do I go for? Yeah, so you go in for Apem Apem too. Okay. And for sweet potato, uh -huh. you go in for Apomodem, which is very good for children right. and the uh, nursing mothers okay. and pregnant women because uh -huh. it's a prick, it contains pro vitamin A, mm. which is a precursor for the vitamin A. Okay. Yeah. Now, lastly, in conclusion, do you say that? per the vigorous treatment and care that this plant go through it limits the the attack that they go through in terms of disease and all that and pest attack on the field does it limit it in any way or it is still yeah. you know uh, so, prone to these diseases yeah hmm. the the it's still prone to hmm. these diseases but hmm. because they have been introduced fresh to their field right the impact of on yield uh -huh. is very minimal okay. yeah so when you have sent them to the field afresh right. they are very vigorous okay. until you grow them for about four generations right. yeah then the yield you are getting reduces okay then you have to come back to the okay. lab otherwise right. you might experience reduced yield okay do farmers come here directly to buy the vines and the suckers from you or they have to go to a certain station to buy it the farmers come here directly they can come here to yeah to oh, get okay. the vines they okay. don't go to any station. all right so is there any handles you can share with us how do we find you uh in case we are in Accra, Bronga, Hafu, wherever it is we find ourselves we want to buy some because this is quality how do we find you yeah so in case uh, you want this quality planting material right. you give us a call uh -huh. on 0242 uh -huh. 7458 Six five, and we'll be able to negotiate on the quantity you need and the time you want to come and pick them. Then we cut them and give the varieties to whoever the farmer is. Okay, so there you have it, Dr. Victor Amankwa, research scientist with Crops Research Institute for Misoa and Komasi in the Ashanti region. And he is in charge of tissue culture that department when you go there you should look for dr Mankwa. and if you want planting clean planting material to buy and go and plant on your farm he's the best man to talk to if you come here all the training and every advice that you need they will help you so you can become a successful farmer doc thank you so much for your time yeah, we truly appreciate yeah. it so today i've brought you something novel on the Ghanaian farmer We've dealt with a lot of farmers. So by the time we come to the engine room, where everything starts from scratch before you see on the field and of course you consume in the house. This is it. This is it and it's very important that we introduce you to it. So if you're looking for quality planting materials, contact the Crops Research Institute people and they will be ready to assist you to become a successful farmer. My name is Anina. Please subscribe, share the link and let's hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.